Welcome to another edition of the UMBC Coaches Corner. I'm Dan LaHatt. Once again, I'm joined by head cross country coach, Coach Matt Gitterman. Coach, this past weekend, a pretty impressive race up in Princeton. One school record fell, fell as well as many other uh, great runs by both the men's and women's team. What contributed to the, to the success up at Princeton? Um, well, a lot of things. Was, uh, the course was in great condition. You get a nice day, perfect temperature, no wind, hard ground. So. Everyone had an opportunity to run fast. It's a good fast course in general. Um, the competition came out, but we're starting to kind of peak towards that conference time, so the training's starting to let up a little bit, so they're a little bit fresher. So I haven't talked to you in this format in a little while. Who Have there been any big surprises this year on the team that maybe people you weren't expecting to be such big contributors? Um, I think, you know, Brandon, we kind of expected that, but I'm kind of a little shocked by how quickly you know, we're about where Todd Cowan's about where I expected him, but I didn't expect to have four or five other people right along with him. They kind of caught up a little bit faster than I thought they would on the men's side. On the women's side, you know, we're just still, we're so young now that we're kind of building and every race we had a little bit faster and a little bit faster, so we're just kind of waiting on like a breakout performance for pretty much everyone. Heading up to New Hampshire, how familiar is the team with the course uh, in Durham? Um, We've never been there because they rotated every nine years. You know, just geographically, it's hard for us to kind of get up there and see them because it's about nine hours away. Um, we can get a pretty good scout of what the things are. I know a couple of kids have run on the course back when we had the outdoor championship a couple years back, so they have a general idea. And but we kind of get a description, and kind of base our training off of that. So, with not having been there before, does that alter your game plan going into it, or how do you kind of get your guys and girls up for the big meet? Um, you know, we just kind of just racing is racing. It's kind of a different meet because this is the first time where racing matters a little bit more and running fast. Um, so, you know, the competition's a little bit smaller. It's one of the smaller meets we've been to. So it's a more of a matter of almost reacting to what's going on out there. The course, and it really comes down to it, with the exception of maybe one or two conference courses where they tend to be a bit hillier, they don't really play a factor as much. So there's a couple things we can find out we can practice on. But in terms of New Hampshire, it's a pretty, you know, a pretty not challenging course in terms of hills or, you know, um, the ground that we're running on so we can kind of just run through normally. So as you, you mentioned before, you've had a lot of people really come on so far, maybe people you weren't expecting. Does this present a different challenge then? It's the big conference meet, it's the one that matters the most end of the season. What are you looking for from your team as you get up there? Um, you know, if we can just repeat what we did last weekend, we're going to be in a very good position. You know, I think on the men's side, if we can repeat that, I don't think they've quite run as fast as they possibly can, which is a good sign. Um, now they have a little bit of confidence. Now a couple of the people who thought they couldn't run with someone know that they can run with someone. And now so with the way the men went, it kind of changes our strategy in terms of, all right, now we can put a group of six across the line really, really fast as opposed to where it was before we were thinking two groups of three separated by a degree. Um, on the women's side, you know, we're looking to kind of get that group, they're getting a little bit tighter and a little bit tighter together. And now we just all need them to kind of make a big jump all at once. So once again, the cross country team has this weekend off, but then heads up to New Hampshire for the big America East uh, championships held at Durham Woods. For the Co Coach's Corner, I'm Dan LaHatt.